Aha! Design your conscious and coupling experience. This is a really juicy and interesting topic. You know, we are very happy with uh, building things coming to life, etc. But when it comes to something transitioning or dissolving itself, to something that uh, we loved, we care for, that is dying out and just, you know, transitioning to new forms, then very often we have challenges embracing that and couples and relationships is one of these areas. And um, so we are designing new codes of evolution on this planet. And um, one of the areas where we have to do some work and we have to redesign the way we relate to each other and the way we, we act on this planet, the way we relate to ourselves, to our own bodies, is in the in the area of relationships, in the areas of sex. And uh, especially what I'm talking about here today is the area of uncoupling, the area of breakups, the area of transitioning, divorce, uh, separation. And uh, the, uh, the, the concept that has been emerging a lot is this idea of conscious uncoupling. You couple by creating a relationship with somebody and then you uncouple, you just dissolve the, the, the yeah, the commitment, the container, the vehicle for that relationship, and you move towards another vehicle or another container that can be you as a single person, you by yourself, or you within another couple or within another relationship or, or marriage even. So the reason why we need to get this right is because the potential for trouble when you are in the, in the breakup zone, in the uncoupling area, is very, very high. Um, depending on how you handle it, this uncoupling process or this uh, breakup process can take you a few days, a month, or it can take you years. And in the years or in the, in the process of uncoupling, um, the, uh, the risk of escalation and going into battle and uh, basically taking and dragging your past relationship into this ongoing, unsolved, uh, emotional, explosive zone is very, very high. You can take your partner to court. You can go into this painful divorce process where everyone loses. And uh, so what I want to bring here is not to tell you what is right or what is wrong. It's simply to bring awareness. The idea of conscious uncoupling doesn't mean that it's not painful. It doesn't mean that it's not real. It doesn't mean that there are no fights and anger and frustration. It doesn't mean that those emotions are suddenly abstract and we become like these angelic beings transitioning to the next, next date. Not at all. The idea is simply to bring awareness. And yes, in this awareness, you can make choice. You go, can go like, okay, well, you know, my ex just attacked me on something or um, is inviting me into a zone that I feel is conflicting, conflictual, and I don't really want to do that. And so how am I going to protect our couple, uh, what is left of our connection, so that we don't engage into a self-destructive battle, for instance? Or, um, you know, I feel that we, we have been relating to each other in a certain way and uh, we need a new set of boundaries. But the idea is that you design this conscious uncoupling thing as an architect of your mind and of your life. And um, I will give you, like, you know, different ways of doing that. Um, in ways that are healthy. I have right now a list of probably 20 possible topics for videos on this topic. So, you know, the idea is to create a full program and a full set of tactics and ideas, strategies, mindsets, um, insights that you can apply directly to your uncoupling experience. Yeah, this is it for an introduction. Um, I believe that uh, this material or what is in my mind right now has the power to make you transition in a way that is smooth, easy, and uh, with a minimum of, uh, of trouble and pain, <laughs> which, is, which is cool, right? Which is um, a possibility. And if your goal is to go to battle and invo if, if, uh, involve yourself in very painful processes, that's, that's up to you. It's possible. Uh, what is important is to bring awareness and make it conscious. Bring to the conscious something that might be otherwise unconscious. That's it for now. I love you.